<clears throat> okay, you guys. So I'm going to start by applying a little lip conditioner. And I'm just going to use my Sugar Rose. Okay. The first base I'm going to use for my eyes today is my Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo Metal. And this one's an electric blue. I featured this in my um, 4th of July makeup tutorial. So what I'm going to do is apply this all the way to the lid, but leave the inner corner free. I just got my mirror here that I'm going to look into. And I want to go... You guys can apply a... Um, a primer to the eyes like Urban Decay Primer Potion or the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. But I'm not going anywhere today. This look is just for you. So I'm not going to go and apply a primer. Just going to go right in with my base. And I'm going to apply this at the lash line. And a little bit up past the crease. So now that we have our base applied, our first base, I'm going to go in with my second base, which is also a Maybelline color tattoo. And this one is in Seashore Frost. This is a limited edition product. And it's kind of like a dual chromey color. Now I did not apply that electric blue to the lower lash line. So if you guys see me looking over here, I'm looking into my mirror. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. Now that that's done. And I so most of this look, all of this look, is going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Palette. If you haven't seen that, this is what it looks like. And there will be a review of this palette on my blog. Um, we're going to go in with the first color, which is Creep. Actually, before I do that, you guys, I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush. Like this here. And actually, I'm going to take a little bit of Buck. Okay, and I'm just going to put that right above that electric blue. Just to act as a transitional color. And I'll bring it all the way in. Then I'm going to go in with Creep on a flat eyeshadow brush. This one came with the palette, this eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pick some of that color up. Our base of that electric blue. Now that we got that color down, I had to blow away a little bit of that dust there. I am going to use a fluffy blending brush and just lightly blend that color. Lightly blend the edges, just lightly. Now with your smoky eyes like this, you're going to have to take your time because it's not going to happen as quickly as another look with a softer color will. Um, it's really going to take some blending and some patience. But you want to be really, really light handed. a more pointed brush. This is the Sigma E45 and it's tapered more so into a point. And I'm going to go into Creep again. Just pick a little bit up on the tip of the brush and I'm going to drag this color up from the outer corner and in. Just to create that outer V. And then you can deepen it up as much as you feel the need to. Up, 
and in, up and in. And that's going to lift the eye, but give you that line that we all love so much. This is also going to help when you apply your liquid or gel or pencil eyeliner. If you like to make a flick, that is going to be your best friend. Then we're going to go back in with our fluffy brush that we blended out and softly blend. And to take our blending brush, well, this is the brush I used to pick with the color the last time. And this time the color I'm going to pick up is Naked, which Naked is right here. And then I'm going to go right above the edge of this just to help blend it out even further. It's going to help make that smoky, help it appear really smoky. So now I'm going to take my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and I am going to use the color Heaven as my highlight. And this brush that I'm using is the Sigma Large Fluff E50. I'm just going to tap that at the highest point of my brow. That, I'm going to work on the inner corner. The inner corner, I'm going to use a pigment. And these pigments I got are from Mineral Magic or mineralmagic.com. And it's just a pigment stack. And I'm going to use this color here. The color is called Highlight Green. And I think I got all these for like 20 bucks, you guys. There's so much product in there. Like I will never in my lifetime finish these. I'm going to take another small detailed brush. I'm swirling my brush around, picking up the color, and I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. Not that Fix Plus is anything in particular, but it's going to help the color to stick to the brush and apply vibrantly like a cream to my eye. Then I'm going to go right over that area in the inner corner. where I added that base apply we're gonna go back in with a little bit of that creep just to help blend and you shouldn't need to pick much up on the tip of your brush just a little tiny bit tap it off and then we're just gonna right where they meet, run the color back and forth. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Zero Liner. Thickest part of the line is on the outer corner. Now I'm going to go over that to set that with a little bit of Creep. Creep is our all-star color for today. Now I'm going to line my top lids with my Black Track Fluid line. I'm going to be using a Sigma EO5 liner. I'm going to add my mascara, which is my Benefits They're Real. And then I'm going to clean up uh, underneath and around my eyes and I'm going to do my eyebrows. To do my eyebrows, I'm going to use my Milani Brow Fix Kit and my Maybelline Definer Brow. Okay, you guys, so I'm done with all that. I've cleaned up underneath my eyes and all I did was go in with a little bit of this L'Oreal Studio Secrets and this is a Magic Perfecting Base. I put it underneath my eyes because it's kind of a dry area for me. A little bit in my cheeks, a little on the forehead, and on my nose. The concealer that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal True Match Crayon. And my color is Warm 6, 7, and 8, which is medium deep.
I'm gonna blend that in with my Sigma P88. I'm gonna set that with just a little bit of Max Prep and Prime and translucent powder. This is a loose translucent powder, okay? I'm just gonna use what's in the lid. And now for the fun part, I'm going to take my buffing brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to go in with my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation in Deep. And apply this all over my face. Just going to swirl the brush in, tap off the excess, and swirl it into my face. But you don't get a lot of fallout with these um, balance and brighten powders. And it just gives you this really natural look to your skin. It doesn't transfer either to your clothing. So when I'm hugging people and stuff like that, I went to a um, black party over the weekend. Yeah, honey, we did it old school style. And I was hugging a lot of people and it didn't transfer. So that makes this a top foundation in my book. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Geller Bronze and Brighten and this is in medium. And I'm going to take my contour brush from Real Techniques. Just gonna swirl it in the product, tap, and I'm gonna do the outside edge of my face just to warm it up. I'm gonna contour my cheeks, which just gives you a really soft contour. I'm gonna try to apply it a little bit heavier so you guys can see. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna bring it down and around the side of my face underneath the chin that's done I'm gonna go in with my this is my blush brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm gonna take the blush out of this balance and brighten kit and this is in apricot berry get a little bit of color tap it off and right above that bronzer try to blend it in with that bronzer and whenever I apply this on camera it looks very heavy but it's not um, it's a really light soft pink color it just gives you a nice flush to the skin so my highlight is going to be my Too Faced Pink Leopard and I'm just using my e.l.f. stippling brush because I want a light, softer highlight just because I've already applied that blush and that blush has a highlighter in it. I'm going on the top edge of the brow, sweeping it across the top of the cheek. Okay, down the bridge of the nose lightly. Cupid's bow and across the chin. Okay, now I'm going to mist my face with a little bit of this Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist. And this takes the powdery look away. Not that this foundation gives you that, but it's just a habit for me to do that. The last and final step is I'm gonna take my lip liner and Deverish outline my lips. I'm going to use my Kat Von D. This is a little sample lipstick. 
And this is in Cathedral. Cathedral is like a plummy or mauvey color. And these look more matte. They last a really long time. So I'm going to hit that with a little bit of gloss. And this is the Elf Berry Cherry Hyper Shine Gloss. And it's like an exact dupe for the lipstick. So, this is the look, you guys. Zoom in so you can get a close look at the eyes. So yeah, this is just a really fun look that I felt like creating for you guys. And let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great week. And I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial with the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Kit. So now you know what it looks like on African American skin or deeper skin tones. And you can again find this kit at QVC. And it is $39.99. Alright you guys. So make sure you check out my blog for a review of the Laura Geller products. And the Naked Palette will also be featured on my blog with the review. Until next time, my loves. Deuces.